Hey, what's up, J4K? I believe I am live. Um, I want to first thank you for tuning into my last live. If you did, I know it got all messed up and it's kind of making me scared to go live again, but um, you got to do it sometime. So um, today what I want to talk about is the fright elevators in the Kanika Jenkins case. And um, what I'm doing is I have been um, actually able to finally download video. I got a new laptop and, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And my last live kind of blowing up in my face after I did all that work kind of forced me to actually start using my new laptop, getting into it and figuring out like how to do, um, you know, some better technology. Hey, Susie. Um, so this is not the video that I was going to do last weekend. Um, and that's because I found way more information to add. And so that video is probably going to be edited because um, I really want to do an edited video. Um, but this is just something that, um, hey, Amp Easy, this is something that I found while editing videos. And if we have time, I'll show you one other thing. Um, so this is particularly about the fright elevators, okay? So, um, okay, so first thing I wanna do is I want to make sure that we're clear on um, what the fright elevators look like because there's a fright elevator on the lower level and then there's a fright elevator on the ground level, um, AKA the lobby level, okay? So where I'm getting this from is of course the Rosemont files. You can see, um, can you see at the top? I'm at rosemont.com and I'm in the video section where the officer uh, came back maybe two days after the event and he did, um, he basically took video of the path that Kanika supposedly walked, okay? So let's start here. Um, he starts um, on the ninth floor, but let's start here. So he got off the um, the elevator, okay? Even though in the photos, you're going to see pictures of the escalator and the stairs. So that's something to keep your eyes on. You know, um, I don't think Rosamond is clear on whether she actually came from the elevator or if she um, walked down the stairs of the escalator. Because remember that coming off the elevator video is, is one of the fake ones, okay? It's one of the edited ones. But anyways... So let's stay focused. So this is the lower level that the officer is on. And these doors in front of him is the kitchen. Okay. So he starts on the other side. And then let's see. Then he goes into the actual kitchen. He's basically on the other side of the door that I just pointed to. Okay, and the back is the fright elevator. And notice how, um, notice how the floor is a different color, it turns white. So it starts red over here and then it's white, okay? Now in the next video, so he's still on the lower level. Now the next video, he's basically gonna walk straight to the back and take more video. Okay, so this is him in the back taking more video of this fright elevator. And this again is in the, this is in the lower level still. Okay, so the main thing is we just want, I just want you to know how the fright elevator looks, okay? It's big, huge, and gray on the lower level. Now let's go and see what the fright elevator looks like so now he's going up the stairs okay and then in this video here now he's on the ground floor again okay okay and that's the fright elevator right there And you can tell this is the ground floor because you can see the light coming in from outside. And it makes sense, right? If she 
took the elevator to the lower level and then walked up a flight of stairs, she wouldn't be on the same level. So she's on the ground floor, AKA the lobby level, right? Now this fright elevator um, has this pink trim around it, okay? So the first one we seen um, was just kind of in a bare room, big gray elevator. This one, um, it's pretty obvious because it has this pink trim at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna show you. I've been downloading, very happily downloading. This is the, now this came from, let me show you where this came from. Let me go back up here. This came from their surveillance videos. Okay, so I went to the surveillance videos and I put them all in order. Well, I start at the top and then if you go to, I think it's page 86. Okay. So you see there's one little lonely video that says Fright. The others like Food, Court Hall West has lots of videos and a lot of them have multiple videos, but then when you get to Fright, it just has this one little lonely video, okay? So I downloaded that video. Oh, wait. And this is what I got. Now, the first thing I notice is this doesn't match up to the two fright elevators that we just seen. We seen the room that the fright elevator on the lower level, what that room looks like. And then we just seen on the ground floor, it should have the pink trim and everything. Okay, so I question, first of all, where did this video even come from? And could this possibly be a video taken from the double tree? Okay. So um, let me minimize this and let's go back to I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's not the room with the pink trim, but I do want to go back to the lower level just so that you can be reminded on what this room looks like, okay? So these are not the same rooms. <clears throat> and this door is not even the same door. This is a big gray door. This is a big white door. And then you can see on the side here, it should have these two doors, a, a brown one, and then some type of exit door over here, or a door that goes somewhere. So doesn't quite make sense of where they're getting this video from. Now, how this all got started is because we had been reviewing this document where we went over the cameras that Rosemont said was not working. Okay. Now, in the second bullet, it says the fright elevator lower level camera was not working. Okay. So that means that this camera, this is the lower level fright camera that they didn't provide any actual surveillance for. But that means that this camera should have been working. We should have videotape from this area. Right? And that videotape should have pink trim around the bottom. Now they provided us with 
a quote fright video, but it's not the right one. This doesn't have the pink trim. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Do you see what happened here? There's a lower level and a lobby level. Rosemont police officers uh, in their investigative paperwork said that the lower level fright elevator camera was not working, which means that the ground floor camera level should be working. And when you go to look for that ground floor camera with the fright, this is what you get, which is not the correct area. Okay, let me look. You said, can you show some other images? Let me see. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, let me see, where would other images be? So these two videos um, came from the videography. Now, I'm not sure, um, oh, disregard, okay. Um, if I can find some though, I will put it in the links in the description. Okay, so I wanted to, to point that out to you guys that Rosemont is not playing fair. They're claiming that this is the fright elevator camera and it's not the fright elevator camera. Okay, it's not the camera for the lower level and it's not the camera for the ground level. But that's not it, okay? That is not all. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna show you something else about this video. So I told you that, um, I told you that we sort it by name. Hopefully it's already sorted. And then we go to page 86. Okay, and that's how we get this video, right? Now I'm gonna show you something else. going to go to page 145. Nope. Okay. There's another video in here. Hope you guys can see it. Wait, let me see. Let me blow up my screen a little bit. Okay. This video is called is it focusing? Okay. It's right here. And it's called Other Side, Other North Side. Okay. Now, I downloaded the, look over here, these are my downloads. I downloaded the other north side video and where is it here it is other north side okay let's open this one it's the same video same video you guys Okay, now I'm going to close them both just so you know it's not me. And you just seen they're on two separate pages. One is called Fright and one is called Other North Side. So first I'm going to open up the Fright video, put it on the left side, then I'm going to open up Other North Side and put it on the right side. Okay. Same video. And you got to ask yourself, why would Rosemont do this? If you export a video 
and you accidentally export that video again, you'll just have duplicate videos. No big deal, right? You press download, maybe you accidentally pressed it twice. It would just download the same thing two different times. But that's not what happened. Notice on this black bar, they took off the name of the camera. And most of the other videos, and I'm gonna, that's why it's taking me so long, because I'm going through the videos and looking for which ones they took the names off and which ones are official. But this is one of the ones that they took the name off. Now, if you go to Southwest Hall video, it's gonna say Southwest Hall right there. You go to lobby, it's gonna say lobby right there. But notice on these videos, the name has been taken off. Okay. So, and the, the, the name and the date and everything that's automatic. So they don't, they don't write the date and all this up here. This is just kind of like, this is like what they call metadata. This is like, you know, when you download the video, it's going to be called whatever the video is, whatever the camera name is, unless you change the name. So somebody downloaded this video from wherever and decided to call it Fright. Somebody downloaded this video and decide to call it what? Other North Side. Okay. Now, um, in general, the videos, if you look at the bottom, this is mostly where you'll see the differences. Is it? Uh, focusing here. Please focus for me. Okay. Let me see. Okay, there we go. There goes the focus. So on the, the right side or the left side, you see September 9th, 2017, 22 hours, 54 minutes and 55 seconds. This one says September 9th, 2017, three hours, 23 minutes, and 17 seconds. So these are not the same video. Okay. Amp asked about the size. Um, the other North side video is 43.5. I don't even know what you call it. I'll just kind of call it millibytes, okay? And let's go to page 86. So we had 43.5. And this one is 43.7. So very close, almost the same. But you can see they clearly did something to it to make this one 22 hours and this one is three hours. OK, but even though it says that at the bottom, when you actually play it, um, it doesn't go to 22 hours. It just keeps skipping and then it finally stops. And I'm going to I'm going to have to get with um, there's another YouTuber that's been working with this video. I'm going to have to ask him about that. And also, I've been making track of the video files that it says is going to harm my computer with the virus and which ones are OK to download. I, I think that. The ones that say they're going to harm your computer is the ones that have been tampered with. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that all I want to tell you? So that's the one. That's what I want to tell you about these Sprite elevators. They don't match. They don't match um, any of the images that or of that we've seen of the Sprite elevators on both the lower level and the lobby level floors okay so um yeah amp i do get a warning message when downloading certain ones so i've been downloading a lot i have let me see i have i have this is this is all the ones i've downloaded so far so not a lot it seems like a lot to me because i got away from the download but um so i would say about like six of them six or seven of them out of these have said like, do you want to keep or discard? Like this is going to harm your computer, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I've been able to keep them. My computer hasn't crashed. And also something else interesting to know about downloading, some of them that I've downloaded are blank. 
So that's why I want to ask that other YouTuber, what's that about? See, it's just blank. Nothing happens. See that? So, um, and then like it's supposed to just pop up like a normal one. See, this one just comes up. So some of these files are just duds, you know, it's just a waste of time. And, and that's what the video is going to be about. That's why it's going to be edited. So I don't just be rambling. Okay. But I do want to show you something else that I thought was just, just bizarre. And I'm not going to do a whole video on it. So I'll just show you right now. This is the lunchroom. And, um, People are going to come in here and basically get food. Just going to be some real uh, kind of a unprofessional looking people coming through. Um, one guy doesn't even have on a full shirt. Like he's wearing like a tank top. Got people with hoodies on. I wish I could fast forward. I try to speed it up for you so we can get to the part that I want to show you. So this is just their lunchroom where they come and get food. And this is also going to give you a sense of how many employees they had on site. And notice how they're in plain clothes, you know? So some of these people walking around in these videos were employees. And that's why, um, that's probably why in the court documents, they know that Kanika passed the employees because they know what clothes they had on. So they know which ones were not just like guests and were actually working there. It's not going to take that long. Just give it a second. I could be paranoid, but I'm convinced that all these videos are edited and I'm about to show you. You think, why would they tamper with a lunchroom video? That don't make no sense. I mean, it does actually, if you think about it, because they have to, you know, like I said, you when you tell one lie, you got to keep telling them and I'm thinking they would do this because maybe they were trying to say there's some employees who weren't there that day and so maybe they need to block them out and it's also obvious you know looking at how many employees passed through here that they didn't interview all the employees Let them tell it. They have like one security guard, you know, and in here you're going to see more. And the time in the corner is September 9th after midnight or now it's 1, 1 a.m. So Kanika was in the hotel at this time. But the fact that they're eating tells me that they're probably not the murderers, like hopefully. Um, that would be weird if they like ate a sandwich and then killed somebody. <clears throat> okay. Notice how the red box comes on them sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't. I also believe there's people sitting over here in the corner behind the camera. And you're gonna see a guy come in later and start talking to somebody who's off camera. So something, some, I think somebody's over here and I think that's why they chose to sit over here in this area. Cause I think there's somebody that we can't see hiding over here. 
um, I hate that this, the way this goes, you see my controls at the bottom, I could only speed it up. It doesn't have like a fast forward button or, and it doesn't have a way for me, like a normal video where you could just slide it over to the time. Normally you would just slide this thing over, but these videos is weird. It doesn't work like that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, just give it a second. This isn't the this isn't even the part that I really wanted to show you. It's coming up though. Because what this video does is when it gets ready, it just skips. So it's gonna just skip to the part. But you can see all the people walking in the background. They're gonna be walking like around here, going from one side to the other. And I think in a minute you're gonna see the guy in the white tank top just kind of float through. Okay, that's another worker. Here goes the popular security guard that we know about. This is at 2.42 a.m. Supposedly she went, okay, so this is, this is where things change, okay? So now it's more in the morning. Now, this is sick to me because at this point, Kanika's is missing. I just paused it. Okay. At this point, Kanika's is missing. Okay. Her mom's called the hotel, her friends, you know, they've left, they've already been looking for her at this point. The hotel staff should be looking for her. Okay. It's four 53 in the morning. It's almost 5. AM. And then again, notice how there's all these red boxes, but there's just one person. But let's just watch them. And I'm gonna slow it down so that we don't miss this part. Okay, interesting, all black. He goes, he pulls out a chair. Okay, now he's being normal. But in a minute, the video is just going to weirdly stop as if he's frozen. Yeah. You see, the seconds are running. But we're supposed to believe he just... Now he moved again. You'll see jerky movement. It makes you think, is he talking to somebody? Is this the outline of somebody? And I, I could just be tired, but I'm gonna drop the link so you can look yourself to see, is he talking to somebody at this table? Or what is he doing? Cause sometimes he just, he freezes. Okay, his hand just moved. And then he's frozen. It's not normal, right? After a girl goes missing in the hotel you're supposed to be looking for, you come in the break room not to eat or anything, but to do what? And then you just freeze? It 
the time is going. Well, I think he's sitting on a chair because he did pull a chair out. Okay, I just seen his hand move again. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this link so that you guys can review it. But I think I think this video is chopped up. You know how like um, you know you you take a video, say it's ten minutes, and then you like cut out minute two to seven, and you just kind of have the end. Some I don't, whatever he was doing in this video, I feel like was cut out. And you can tell because his mannerisms aren't natural. It seems like he's talking to somebody. You can't really see because the quality is so bad. I'm trying to show you from my phone. But this could be a person. This could be a badge. That's his neck. And this could be a hat right here. Okay, and if it is, this person's frozen too. And when you click on the link, you're going to you're gonna see more of the outline of the face. You're not going to see it right now. There's no way you're going to see it right now because it's just so, like, it just looks like a big blur. But again, this is all moving, and you see how he's just sitting there when he should be looking for the missing person in the hotel. Okay, I'm going to speed it up a little bit so you can see this other guy come in. And I'll show you his weird behavior and then we'll go. I fast forwarded it again and you can still see like he's barely moving even like going four times the speed. <clears throat> And I wonder who is he? Is he security or uh, a janitor or like what is his story? Okay, just hang in there one more minute and um, these other guys are going to come in. Okay, notice how he's just still again. We're going four times the speed, okay? So it's like, is this really a video or is this a picture? You get it? I have a friend that um, he does video. I'm going to ask him too because um, the stuff that they did is so easy to do. It's so amateurish, you know? It really doesn't take a lot at all. And a real investigator would have noticed these things, you know? And it's a shame that Rosemont had like 20 investigators on the case. Remember we named them all and they still just let all this just go. No accountability. I give it one more minute. It's almost done. It's almost coming. And I'm going to show you that there was somebody in this room the whole time in this in this corner right here. Okay, so let me not speed it up too much. Let me go back normal. Okay, so he's going to come and get some food or something to drink back there. Notice the weirdo over here just... <laughs> 
not moving. Wouldn't you be freaked out if you walked in your break room and just <laughs> you see your coworker just sitting in the dark all quiet? You'd be like, what are you doing? Like, that's just not normal. I wouldn't want to work with people like that. Okay, just give him a second. Maybe I should, sp no, I don't want to speed it because then we might miss it. Okay. Oh, this is the other guy. He's going to sit over here. He's right here. You can't see him because he didn't turn into a blob too. But he's right here getting a chair. And you seem like a person right there. Did you did you catch that? Look, it's something blocking him. Do you get it? It's something blocking him. When you watch it on your own, you're going to see what I'm talking about. But you couldn't just see him because something was just blocking him. But, okay, there's going to be one more person. <clears throat> I'm going to speed it up a tiny bit till the guy comes. There he goes, okay. All right, look at this guy. He's gonna go over here on this wall and he's gonna start talking to the person that's over there. He pulls out a chair right next to him. And look, he's turning, talking to them. He folds his arm, he looks right over, he starts talking to them. You see that? Right over here. He's talking to this person that's off camera. There's somebody in here the whole time. Okay. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish doing my job, but you know, there's thousands of these little baby clips, but I'm getting it all organized and I'm almost done, but I don't want to just do like half and half and, um, I will be back to talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.